Hello, I'm David Harvey uh, from Rayburn Wines of Edinburgh and London and we've just been having a tasting lunch with the wines of the 2011 release of Franco Nellison from Mount Etna. And these are so-called natural wines, could you just expand on what natural wines means? Yeah, Frank uh, makes wine which we can call natural, he works without chemicals and additives, uh, he doesn't use any enzymes, any selected yeast, any additives, any enological improvement tools, he works with flavour neutral uh, vessels in his cellar and he believes that uh, it's important to just find the, the beauty in the grapes that grow from your land and let, that, let those express themselves clearly in the wine without anything else getting in the way. There seems to be a bit of a furor in the trade about natural, unnatural, all these descriptions, what these wines actually are. Can you just give your own sort of definition of what natural means? In its purest sense, natural means nothing added, nothing taken away. You just work with, with what you've got, which is your grapes. Um, the UK trade is quite structured. In the UK trade have WSET education and uh, and IMW certification. But some of these some of these structures actually help to, or serve to block us in our appreciation, our understanding of what wine is actually all about, which is camaraderie, pleasure, a nice drink to go with food, and something which is you know, part of a living gastronomy. And a lot of wine which the UK trade thinks is completely normal, it's actually completely artificial. And so we've got ourselves into a little bit of a sort of catch-22 situation. It seems to me that there is no one style of natural wines per se. They cover a huge spectrum. Do you yeah. agree with that? You've got people who are working in, in fine wine qualities with low yields and perfect grapes, people working with higher yields and not much selection. You've got cellars that are really, really well designed to facilitate natural fermentation processes, which Emile Peinot, the enologist, wrote about. Um, you've got people who are working in really ramshackle facilities to better or worse effect. Um, there are many faces and shades and textures and flavours of natural wine, but that's great, that's diversity. That's, uh, that means that when you've got a list of 100 natural wines, you touch 100 bases. Whereas a list of New World brands, big brands, gives you more or less one kind of white and one kind of red. That's not very vibrant to my mind. Is there actually a legal definition of what a natural wine is? No, I'm going to just say it's uh, uncertified and uncertifiable. If you want certification, if you want to have a name on a box, if you want to have everything in life absolutely knowable, you're looking in the wrong place. Um, could you just tell us the name of your website and where people can find out more about your producers? Yeah, we're uh, rayburnfinewines.com but we're not really that much of a web-based company so the best thing is to email David Harvey or email Zubair and we'll tell you what we've got. And are you exhibiting at either of the two so-called natural wine fairs coming up in May? Um, we are the UK importer for Angelina Maule of La Biancara in Gambalara in Veneto who is president of Vin Nature, which is one of the growers associations, along with Nicolas Jolie's Renaissance des Appellations Controlées, who are putting on the fair with Isabel, okay. Le Giron. And so we've got five, ten growers at the Raw Fair in uh, May 20th, 21st. And where is that taking place? That's at the Truman Brewery of Brick Lane. And the website address is? rawfair.com. Fantastic, thank you so much. Thank you.